Okay, so off camera, I've played two games in the league. One in the league and the semi final of the Dutch Cup. We won the semi final of the Dutch Cup, so we are now in the final and we won the match against Herenven. In the meantime, AZ Alkmaar lost their league match and now we have opened a nine point gap between us and them. In this episode, we will first play against Troda, who are currently 17th, and we're gonna play them with a heavily rotated squad. And then, after that, we will try and overturn the, the result of the game against Milan and try to qualify for the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Not a bad episode. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman on Football Manager 20. We are here in the Netherlands with our mighty Feyenoord. And since you and I were last together, I've played only two games of camera. One against Gereven in the league. And um, we won 4-0. Goes from Lovren with a braces. First goals for us the season. Rakic in the 68th and Taylor in the 87th minute. In this match, Rakic got, in Rakic got injured and he is out for four weeks. And that's not good news because he's going to miss the today's game against AC Milan then we played the cup semi-final against NAC Breda we I went with my best 11 we won 2 nil. goes from Reese and Escalante they had Herman sent off in the 47 minute 45th minute plus and um, so all is good in the final we are playing PSV Eindhoven so yeah definitely will come back for that match also as in the league, as per my intro, we have now opened a nine-point gap for, between us and AZ because they lost their last match in the league. So today, I decided, since we are playing uh, Roda, which are 17th, I am, even if we lose the match, I don't really care because even if we lose the match, we still have a six-point gap. Um, but I want to keep everyone as fit as possible for the game against AC Milan. So, without further ado, let's go. I don't have high hopes for this match because most of the players are playing are playing out of position. They don't have any match sharpness because they haven't played in a while. But as I said, I don't really care. I don't really care. Just I, I, I'm showing you this game um, just because I'm playing it on a full heavily rotated squad and I thought I might, you know, might interest you seeing what our backbenchers, our reserve team can do or cannot do, basically. So here we are, we're going with Ballman, Benitez, Taylor and Halsman, Schutte, Van der Meer, Rosmalen and Thomas in midfield, Winken behind Van der Steen and Faber. So yeah, most of the, most of the players apart from Halsman and like Anyway, Toma with the shot, the free kick there, good save from the keeper. 15 minutes into the game. <clears throat> and to be fair, I cannot see us losing this game. And all, although now that I said it, probably we'll lose it 2-3-0. I mean, we're home and <laughs> we're playing against 17 in the league. So, yeah. Vinkin with the shot. Vinkin has been crying and crying and complaining. Um, yeah, if we had to stay here, and that's a very, very big if because I don't think we will stay here, uh, but obviously, it depends on the jobs that there are available. He is on his way, he will be on his way out, definitely. Definitely, but now, Thomas, the youngster from Barcelona who's on loan, is that a pen? I don't think it's a pen, it's definitely a free kick, but it's not a pen, is it? 20 minutes past here. Let's see what the ref has to say. What's his final decision will be? He comes out. Pen! Oh! Pen! So Luan with a chance... No, Luan is not playing. What, what, am, I, what am I saying? Who's taking it? Faber. Okay. Come on, Faber. Go! What's this? Fifth of the season for Faber. Although he hasn't played much. Well, he played. Not that much, though. But anyway, we take the lead. And look at that. 
although I that are still to play we have now uh, what 12 point lead a 12 point lead with like six or seven games remaining so not a bad thing not a bad thing Toma crosses the ball they clear it out momentarily re what was that who was that with the shot I think Van der Steen or Vinken Vinken probably hi Berta so yeah we're nearing the end of the first half here we have another highlight the header from Benitez and it's offside it's offside the video shows a clear offside let's see how clear is that offside oh yeah not by much but clearly offside so fair play to the ref there and the VAR team Tomao with the free kick Ooh, this is his second free kick that he took both of them he chose that that corner there that side but both of them went out come on let's do this I'm all fired up for the next match guys AC Milan we need to beat them home come on we can do it we can do it and that's the one more because we'd need another goal basically shooty with the free kick crosses it in and what a fine header from Faber sixth of his season second goal for him in this match and now we're cruising we are cruising to victory we don't need to see that let's praise the lads now now they're all complacent and apprehensive but luckily with the praise they are, are all fired up now can't talk today guys can't talk Rosmalen with the free kick crosses it in long for everyone but Faber gets to the loose ball with a counter cross Rosmalen <laughs> the first shot got blocked but from the rebound he fires it in and that's his first of the season Gino van Rosmalen he's a youngster what 17 18 years of age come on let's demand more let's be bitchy and demand more but 75 minutes on the clock here leading 3-0 Perfecto. 81 minutes. Another highlight. A throw in from Schutte to Van der Steen. Van der Steen is dispossessed. And now Termian enters the box. He shoots and a fine save from our second keeper there. Come on. Can we praise? Yeah, let's praise. They're all fired up again. But look. I didn't have any hopes for this match, but. Good. Good, good, good. Our reserves rose to the occasion here and soundly beaten Roda 3-0. Excellent stuff. So, no one got injured. Hopefully, yeah, no one got injured, although none of them are playing in... This, well, probably. No, because I didn't play Vargas. So, yeah. Give me two seconds and we'll come back for the second leg of the second round of the Champions League against AC Milan. And we need to win it. At least tune in. Okay, guys. So, this is the formation we're going with today against AC Milan. We're playing De Jong in goal. Garcia, Taylor and Postman, the trio on defense. Escalante on the left. Reese and Vargas in the middle. Van Lovren on the right. Aldo behind Makengo. And instead of Luan, I've put Faber. Because Faber, in the last game, he scored two goals. So, I wanted to give him a chance. In the meantime, a very good piece of news came through because AZ Alkmaar lost their match once again so they lost two in a row and now we have a solid 12 point lead with seven league games remaining so we are in a very good position in retaining the title but the race is not over yet so nothing nothing is um, nothing is set and done so First things first, let's go and beat AC Milan. <laughs> so, I mean, getting out of the cup against AC Milan, me, who in real life is, uh, <laughs> is an Inter Milan fan, <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. Come on, Reese shoots! And Reese, what a goal from Reese! And we set the score even after four minutes. We are even now. Reese with his 10th of the season. What a goal. What a missile that was. And this is a good start, guys. A good start. Come on. 
Let's go and score a second immediately. It's raining now. Come on, Vargas to Aldo. Come on. Aldo enters the box. Tries to cross it in. Vargas from outside! And Vargas <laughs> with his second goal of the season. A fine assist by Makengo there. Who read the situation brilliantly. Let's have a look at it again. Aldo enters the box. Here I thought it's going to be a pen, but it wasn't. Aldo tries to cross it in. It gets blocked. Van Lovren crosses it into Makengo. Makengo heads it down to Vargas. That who from the edge of the box, just inside the box, he rifles it in. And it's 2-0 after 15 minutes, guys. We couldn't ask for a better start. Any games? Valencia against Benfica. Come on. Van Lovren to Faber. Back to Van Lovren. Van Lovren enters the box, he stops, crosses it in, Makengo! What a save, what a save from their keeper. It's not over yet though, Lovren with a cross again to Reese. Reese gets his shot blocked, they clear it away momentarily and end of highlight. What a save from their keeper there, Makengo with two S's guys, not bad, not bad. Let's praise the lads. You know, there's a long way still because if they score they would win on away goals so we need at least another one come on Vargas intercepts come on we'll give it out to Lovren but the, the their defender gets first on the ball there and now they can start their attack with Char we get the ball back Escalante to Faber come on Faber Back heel to Vargas. Vargas opens on the right to Lovren, who is cutting in. He shoots. <sighs> Let's not comment about that shot. <laughs> but look at this, guys. They are, they have better possession, but we have six shots on target against their nothing, and 14 shots in total. So we are the better team on the pitch. But we need more goals. We need more goals. So we will demand more. Vargas, it's not the right time to feel pressured now. Just think about your game. You scored an excellent goal. Try and score a second one. Come on. Makengo. Makengo keeps running, enters the box. He shoot. Well, he shoots. Come on. Demand more. I'll keep on demanding more. Vargas. Loses possession momentarily. He gets it back. Gives it to Faber. Faber out on Reese. Back to Vargas. Back to Reese. Come on. Back to Vargas. Faber. Makengo. Aldo. Oh my god. Look at how we're passing the ball here. Reese! What a goal that would have been. What a goal. <laughs> that would have been. But now my players are convinced. Our lads are convinced, are confident and motivated. And that's the kind of body language I like to see. Especially in games like this. Come on. We're still on a razor's edge here. Because eh? they need just one goal, guys. Just one goal they need. Come on. Don't concede now. Please. Oh my god, what a save. It was offside though, but what a save. Yeah, 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 yeah. Offside, offside, offside. Come on. 85 minutes. Like, come on. Seven minutes left, including injury time. No, less. Come on. One last highlight. Come on, Reese. No, Van Lovren. Come on. Come on. Shoot! Ooh, it goes into a corner. No. So, he had the bar. Okay. One last highlight. Should be over. The ref should blow the whistle. In one, should blow the whistle. Come on, Blair. Blow the, blow the whistle, ref. Don't concede now. <sighs> oh. Flipping hell. Come on. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. This, this should be it. Right? Right, ref. This should be... Oh, come on! Why? You said 
two minutes of injury time. You said the time, and now, okay, jeez. The lads did what they needed to do there. Two goals. Wow, and we're qualified for the quarterfinals. And now, I'm not sure. I wouldn't mind like Valencia, to be fair. I wouldn't mind Valencia. We got 9.5 million for qualify for what? 9.5 million for playing in the first no so, okay, so okay, more money coming in for the quarterfinals. Reason presses, let's praise the lad. He started all off. He started it all off with that magnificent goal. So Escalante we lost him for the first leg of the quarterfinal. We got the fine um what because i I'm, I'm sure we lost like 15 million last time in, in, in last monthly review so yeah 65 million it's fair it's good it's fine um when is the draw let's see when is the draw it doesn't say here so give me two seconds and i'll come back for the draw probably i would need to play against venlo so see you soon okay so before we go to the draws of the quarterfinals of the Champions League, I had to play against Venlo, and uh, we squashed them, we smashed them, we've beaten them, we've obliterated them 5 1. Luan with a hat trick. Uh, Aldo opened the score in 27 minutes, then Makengo in the 45th plus minute, then Luan decided to start playing football again and scored in 57th, 81, and 86th. Now, AZ won their, won their game, so at the moment, this is what. Um, we're at, we are at 70 points, they are at 58, still a 12 point gap between us, and uh, I believe there's six remaining games. Oh, what have I done there? I believe there's six remaining games. Let's have a look together. One, two, three, well, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So basically, there's 18 points still available, and we have 12 points, uh, we have a 12 point lead not a bad situation we're in so so yeah now off we go to the draw and uh let's see let's see so before let's stop before so let's see the teams we have Bayern Munich Liverpool PSG Sporting Man City Real Madrid and Valencia so immediately at first glance I want Sporting or Valencia first glance let's see sporting come on come on draw us oh my lord sporting against valencia bayern munich against liverpool oh shit paris Saint -Germain. oh man city we're playing man city away jesus not the best of draws not the best we viewed the draw ah semi-final okay so if we had to beat man city we will then play either sporting or valencia which would not be a bad draw for a semi-final sporting or valencia but we have to beat england's giants man city let's have a look a quick look uh competitions where they are at they are currently second 69 points no we can't beat man city we can't beat man city their manager is bruno la Lage? Lage? never heard of him as a region captain is simon mandrea who is french a 31 year old attacking midfielder, not bad. That's their captain. Their vice captain is Angelo Kremers, which is a 31 year old Belgian. Quite um, the average, the average, the average age. I don't think it's low because both of them are 31, captain and vice captain. Then their key player is Virgilio, Brazilian winger. 28 years of age Jesus guys it cost 96 million and had their hot prospect is Mickey Clarence 
a central 17 year old defender not bad at all look at that 14 heading 14 marking 15 tackling physicals could be better but 17 determination 16 positioning 19 in teamwork work rate is 16 jesus almighty and his only value that 975 let's make a transfer bit for him let's offer 175k 99 mil plus 40 percent from the next sale Anyhow, Mela, let's see, let's see, um, when are we coming, when are we playing now? Okay, so I will just play because basically, um, if my maths is correct, if we win both of these games, these games here, we win the league. Because, yeah, we win this and from 18 there's going to be 15 points remaining we win this from 15 is going to be 12 so we win it so basically what i'm going to do is play utrecht off camera and then we'll come back unknown <laughs> unknown <laughs> it hasn't updated it so and then we'll come back for our sparta and man city away until then thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did so don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to channel new my name is Jerry D and until next time, stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, don't touch your ugly faces. If you need to go out, make sure you practice social distancing and bye-bye. <laughs>